so the weather is getting colder. I have the fireplace on and I decided to make cabbage rolls for dinner. Um, so yeah, let's make some cabbage rolls. Here we go. So for these cabbage rolls today, I'm going to work on the cabbage. Um, and to do this, you'll want to remove this hard core from the bottom here. Just carefully kind of go around. Oops. <laughs> I should have put a towel under my cutting board. There we go. And I'm just gonna dig this out carefully with my little knife here. Okay, so I removed this core here and now it makes it a lot easier for when you boil the leaves, you you know can peel them off, they come off easily. Okay, so I have my water boiling. So I'm gonna put my cabbage carefully into the boiling water, just like that. And I'm gonna submerge that. <laughs> and just let these, let the whole cabbage kind of steep for a little while. So you're gonna let it steep and simmer for a couple of minutes here. We've got my kitchen helper here and he's gonna peel these, there we go and we're just gonna place the leaves there. And you just kind of move the cabbage around carefully peeling the leaves. You don't wanna break them. And that's why you want this, like these might need to soften more and just, we're gonna let these steep. But you do this layer by layer. You wanna make sure it softens and steeps in the water before you peel it. And you'll be able to seal, and you'll be able to see when it's easy, it'll kind of start pulling away from the head of the cabbage. Okay, so here are my cabbage leaves. And they are still, yeah, they're still kind of hot. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to, this is the prepping pro uh, process of the cabbage. And what I'm gonna do is if you um, take just, you know, a little paring knife and you just cut out this little piece here, the little rib. It's like really tough and really doesn't roll very well. So this will allow you to stuff your cabbage leaves and roll them. So I'm gonna repeat the process here. And the once you get to the closer part, like the core of the cabbage, the leaves do get smaller and a bit more uh, tougher. So you'll have to let them simmer and boil before peeling them away and working with them. So there we go. Next one. There we go. Just like that. And then you have, you know, you keep stacking them and just prep them so we can roll the filling. Okay. So here I have a pound of lean ground beef. This is actually a 93 to 7 uh, meat to fat ratio and I'm just gonna start building the filling here so I am gonna go in with salt you can start with a teaspoon of salt like a half teaspoon of paprika use fresh garlic I'm going with dried garlic uh, garlic powder granulated garlic powder a half teaspoon works a tablespoon of dried minced onion because I have it. You could use sauteed fresh onion. There's so many things you could do to the filling to impart a lot of like flavor. Here I have some fresh parsley. I have a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Or is it Worcestershire? Worcestershire. You guys know what it is. Cracked black pepper. One large egg going in. And here I rinse this like three or four times in cold water and just kind of let it hang out. This is a half cup of long grain rice. And now I'm just going to combine and mix everything well. By the way, Clean hands work best in the kitchen, right? Okay. 
Okay, so here's my mixture. Here are my leaves, and I'm going to start, um, you know, stuffing and making these cabbage rolls. So let's take our little cabbage roll, and I'm going to use this little scoop. I'm not even going to fill the scoop all the way, just it helps me to place the, the meat there. I'm going to see if I can do at least 14 of these, somewhere between 14 to 16. Uh, you should be able to do that. So here's how we do it. So you can kind of... I tuck that side in and then tuck in. It's kind of like, you know, the, the, the burrito kind of roll. And there you go. Cute little cabbage roll. So cute. Okay, so here are my cabbage rolls. And I did manage to get 14 of these. Um, and I tightly wrap them. And you want to put them seam side down and kind of press on them so they stay enclosed. So what I'm going to do is stack them into this Dutch oven pot that I have, seam side down. And I'm just gonna go around and just fit them in here as best as I can. And kind of press them. Definitely do this in a nine by 13 baking dish as well. Okay, so here I have a large cup. And what I'm going to do is add, this was an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. There are so many ways to make the sauce. You can even simmer this, season it, and simmer it on the stove top before you pour it in. This is just the easiest way I do it. Now I'm gonna add two cups of low sodium beef broth. Give that a mix. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt cracked black pepper, go in with a little bit of my paprika again, my paprika, just like a hmm, quarter teaspoon. I have some, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and just give that a mix. I think this should be enough with the two cups of beef broth and one can of tomato sauce. And I'm just gonna pour this all over the rolls. Oh yeah, this will work. And I'm just gonna give them a press. This will definitely work. Okay. So what I'm going to do, cover with a lid, and this is going to go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and a half to two hours. Here, I got it. There we go. Going in, see you in an hour and a half. Okay, so the cabbage rolls are done. It smells amazing. Go ahead. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so let's get situated. Let's go ahead and lift the lid and see what we've got. Oh, this smells and looks amazing. Yes. Okay, so dinner is ready. And for those of you that just don't know what to serve this with, extra steamed rice. You could also make um, some mashed potatoes, serve it with a side of just a dollop of sour cream with maybe two or three cabbage rolls. Really, really good. Oh gosh, yum. I want this one down here with the sauce, oh yeah. See, oh, so flavorful. Now, we're gonna bring it over here. And then you serve with a dollop of sour cream on the side and dig in, just like that. You can get fancy with it and add some parsley, but 
Yum. And I'll, I'll cut into one. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.